today we shall consider push down automata. We have seen that the smallest uh, machine or accepting device you can think of is the finite state automaton and it correspondent to type 3 grammars. Now, what about context free grammars or type 2 grammars? The machine which corresponds to this or the accepting device corresponding to context free grammars is the push down automaton. The push down automaton has an input tape, it has a finite control, finite control means state and a stack or a push down store, it is a push down store. It is like a stack, right. Initially, when you start, the input is given here. The stack has only one symbol Z naught, which is called the initial push down symbol, and initial state is Q naught. So, the machine will be reading this first symbol, leftmost symbol in state Q naught, and the topmost symbol is Z naught. There is only one symbol initially. After some time, you may have something on the stack, say for example, it is reading this symbol in some state q. In some state q, it is reading a symbol z and at the time the stack is having some symbols, the topmost symbol is z. So, the next move depends on q k and z. Depending on all the three, in the case of finite state automaton, knowing q and a, the next move is determined. Now, in the case of push down automaton, <coughs> knowing q, a and z, the next state is determined. So, the mapping will be depending upon the state, the symbol red and the topmost uh, stack symbol or the push down symbol. Next instance, the input pointer can move, it can go to a different state and z instead of z, you can write something on the stack, a string on the stack. You can even remove z. When is the input accepted by the automaton? The input is accepted when the whole of the input is read and the push down store is empty. This is one way of acceptance. This is called acceptance by empty store. There is another way of acceptance which is after reading the whole input, the stack remains some portion of the stack can still remain, but the state is a final state. Some of the states will be designated as final state and the machine will reach a final state. We have already seen that languages like a power n, b power n, n greater than or equal to 1, w c w r, They are context free languages which are not accepted by finite state automata. Why finite state automata cannot accept it? You can use either Michael Neroud theorem or pumping lemma to prove that. But the intuition is finite state automata has a finite amount of memory. Please do not say that finite state automata does not have memory. It has memory, but the memory is finite. Finite state automata has finite amount of memory and within that it is not able to accept that. Now, let us see how this language is accepted by the push down automata. Actually, you can look at this as a some sort of a spring over which 
the plates are all placed in a cafeteria and you can only see the top plate. You can put more plates on that or remove the top plate and so on. Okay. The push down store it is a stack and it acts like that. Okay. Usually when you consider parsing you call it as a stack. Here we use the more, com more common word is push down store. It means the stack, push down store really means a stack only. So, the mappings can be defined in this manner. The automaton has two states q 1 and q 2. The input symbols can be 0, 1 and c and you can have three symbols on the push down store. You can have a b or a g or a red, blue plate, red plate, green plate. Okay. So, the action is when the top plate is blue and the state is q 1, what is the action if you see a 0, add a blue plate remain in state q 1. When the top plate is blue and the state is q 1 and it is 1, add a green plate remain in state q 1. When the top plate is blue and you get a q 2, you are in state q 2 and you get a 0, remove the blue plate and remain in q 2 that is what I have written q 2 and if you are in state q 1 top plate is blue and you get the input c you go to q 2 state q 2 without manipulating the stack. Similarly, for green if you are in state q 1 that is the top plate is green if you are in state q 1 and see a 0 add a blue plate, if you see a 1 add a green plate, but you remain in the same state q 1 and if you see a c go to state q 2. If the top plate is green and if you are in state q 2, you are not supposed to get a 0, if you get a 1 remove the green plate and remain in state q 2. If you have a red plate on the top, if you are in q 1, if you see a 0 add a blue plate, if you see a 1 add a green plate, if you see a c go to state q 2. So, the action is given in this table. Now, let us see how it works on a input on a particular input 0, 1, 1, c, 1, 1 0. This should be accepted by the machine, right. The initial state is q 1 and we are going to consider acceptance by empty store. The formal de definition I will give in a moment. Now, suppose I start with I will mark the state just below this. You are reading this in q 1 and initial in the push down store you are having a red plate this is what with you start with initial push down symbol is red you are having a red plate on the stack. Now, what is the action when you are in state q 1 and the top plate is red and you see a 0 what is the action add a blue plate remain in state q 1 right. So, you add a blue plate, you are remaining in state q 1, but you are moving the input pointer. You are reading this means you have read a 0. So, input pointer will be moved and the state is still q 1. Now, in q 1 you see a 1 and the top plate is blue, top plate is blue state is q 1 you are seeing a 1. What is the action taken? Add a green plate remain in state q 1. So, you add a green plate <coughs> you read this. So, you move the input pointer to the next one and this will be the situation. Now, the same situation you have you have green plate on the top 
you have q 1 and the state, then 1 is being red, <coughs> green 1 q 1, what is the action taken? Add a green plate, remain in q 1. So, you add a green plate, input is red, you move here. Now, in q 1, when you read a c, the action is go to q 2, you are not manipulating the stack, but just change the state to q 2. So, you go here in state q 2. In q 2, either you can have a g and a 1 combination green and a 1 combination or a blue and a 0 combination. The other way combination you should not have, you should not have a blue and a 1 combination, green and a 0 combination. If you get such a combination, it will halt, machine will halt. So, when you have a blue and a 1 combination, uh, I am sorry, blue and a 0 combination, you remove the blue plate. If you have a green and a 1 combination, remove the green plate. So, what you do is when you have a G and a 1 combination, remove the green plate, go here in state q 2. Again you are having a green and a 1 combination in state q 2. So, you remove it, remove the green plate. Now, we are having a blue and a 0 combination, remove the blue plate, this is removed. Now, the whole input has been read, the whole input has been read now and you are in state q 2, there is one symbol remaining on the stack that is red symbol. Now, the action is red and q 2 without waiting for a, the input remove the red plate. So, you need not have to read anything, just without waiting for the input you remove this. So, at the end of reading the input, the stack has been emptied. So, this string will be accepted by the machine. Now, we are defining acceptance by empty store this is acceptance by empty store. Suppose, instead of this, I had say this, then I would have added after having z blue, green, green, this green would have been removed but then there will be a 0 and a green combination, the machine will halt without reading the input that green and blue, green and 0 mapping is not defined, a blue and 1 the mapping is not defined, right. So, if such a thing happens, the machine will halt abruptly, it, it can accept only after it reads the whole of the input. In between it can read epsilon also, that is also allowed in the case of the push down automaton. That is, it can manipulate the stack, change the state or something like that without reading a symbol, without moving the input pointer, it can also manipulate on the stack that is allowed, right. And basically, the push down automaton is non deterministic in nature. The next move is not uniquely defined. Non deterministic push down automata are equivalent to CFG or non deterministic push down automata is the machine characterization for context free languages. And Deterministic push down automata 
or you generally write it as DPDA. These are not equal, they are not equal. Non deterministic PDA is not equivalent to deterministic PDA. Deterministic PDA form a subclass. Okay. So, we shall see that in a moment. First, let us define formally what is a push down automata. A push down automaton or a PDA is a 7 tuple m is equal to k sigma gamma delta q naught z naught f. It's a 7 tuple like this where k is a set of states, sigma is a set of input symbols, gamma is the set of stack symbols or push down symbols, q naught in k is the initial state z naught in gamma is the initial push down symbol f contained in k is the set of final states when you define acceptance by empty store, f can be empty. You need not have to bother about final state. If you define acceptance by final state, you have to specify what is f. Now, delta is a mapping. What is delta? Delta is the transition mapping. What does it depend on? It depends on the state, the symbol red and the top of the push down store. So, this k into sigma union epsilon because epsilon moves are allowed, you can also not read any input that is also allowed. So, k into sigma into gamma state input symbol are nothing red and the topmost push down symbol this into it is basically non deterministic. So, I will write 2 power subsets of or I can say subsets subsets of k into gamma star. If it reads a input symbol, input pointer will be moved. If it reads epsilon, input pointer will not be moved. From one state, it will go to another state and rewrite the topmost push down symbol by a string. Okay. So, the mappings are like this delta of P A Z contains Q gamma, where P and Q belong to K. A is a belongs to sigma union epsilon and z belongs to gamma, gamma belongs to gamma star. Please note that we write it as delta P A z contains q gamma not equal to. If it is deterministic PDA, you can write as, as equal to. What it means is when you are reading A in state P and the topmost push down symbol is Z, one possibility is next instance you can go to Q which 
move the input pointer and some I will write it as z dash up to z dash it will be there, z will be replaced by gamma. Gamma is a string, it is not a single symbol, it is a string really. Now, notation wise you have to be very careful, gamma is a string, it can be something like gamma is b 1 b 2 b m say. Then when you write like this, is b m the top or b 1 the top? Different books follow different notation. If you take Hopcraft and Nullman, he takes B1 as the top, it will be written as B1, B2, Bm. Leftmost symbol will become the top of the stack. Top of the stack. If you take Michael Harrison's book, Argin's book book, it would be the other way around. They would have taken Bm as the generally the leftmost symbol is the top of the stack, that is the general convention, but of course some authors follow a different notation. So, if you take a new book and read, you must be careful which notation they are following. Okay. So, z belongs to gamma and gamma belongs to gamma star. So, generally you write like this delta of p a z is equal to q 1 gamma 1, q 2 gamma 2, some q k gamma k. That is when you are in state p reading the symbol a and the topmost pull down symbol is z, you have a choice of going to q 1 read a and rewrite z by gamma 1 or you have the choice of going to q 2 and rewrite z by gamma 2 etcetera. You have a finite number of choices. The basic machine is non deterministic in nature, but the example which we considered just now it is deterministic in nature. Now, how do you define a move of the machine in a formal manner? An ID or instantaneous description, insta instantaneous description it is a three tuple it is a uh, three tuple q w gamma where q is the current state w is the portion of the input to be read, remaining portion of the input gamma is the contents of stack or push down store. Then convention is the leftmost symbol of gamma is the top of the stack that is what we will follow, right. So, suppose Q A W Z gamma is an ID that is the machine is in state Q and the portion of the input remaining is A W, Z is the top of the push and store under that you have gamma. Hmm? And if 
delta of q a z contains p beta c. If there is a mapping like this, then from this i d, what i d you will go to? If you write this symbol, if you go from this i d to the next i d, use this symbol. Okay. So, state will change to p, a will be red. So, w will be remaining, z is replaced by beta. So, you will have beta gamma. The leftmost symbol of beta is the top of the stack. So, from one i d in one move you can go to this i d if this is the mapping defined in the transition function. So, what will be the initial i d? If the input is w, input is w say then what will be the initial id? Initial id will be q naught w z naught. You are in, in the initial state, the whole of the input has to be read and z naught is the only symbol on the stack. Now, when do you say that a string is accepted? Starting from the initial configuration, you have to read the whole input and the stack can be emptied. That is one way of acceptance. Another way of acceptance is start from the initial i d whole input has to be read and you have to reach a final state. Now, before that what does that this represent? You are in one i d naught is the initial i d then one, one more you can go to i d 1, i d 2 and so on. Finally, i d n you can go to right. So, what does this represent the symbol? It is a relation between i d s, this represents a relation between i d s is not it. So, generally if this is a relation what does this represent? Reflexive transitive closure of this is the reflexive transitive closure. So, you say I d from I d in many moves if you go from one move you write this if you go from this to the other one in many moves you write like this right. Now, how do you define acceptance the set of strings accepted by m by empty store. that is denoted as n of m null m or you sometimes it is written as null of m n of m it is the strings of the form w where w belongs to sigma star right this is the input string What is the initial id? It is such that q naught w z naught this is the initial id. From this you have to go to an id where the whole input has been read and the push down stores has been emptied. That is from this you have to go to an id can be in any state when you define acceptance by empty store you are not bothered about the final state any state can can be in any state, but the whole input has to be read and the whole push down store has to be emptied. 
for some q belonging to k. This is epsilon. You also define acceptance by final state. The set of strings accepted by M by final state Sometimes it is denoted as L of m or T of m. I will use the <coughs> language m or T m. T of m W W belongs to sigma star, and from the initial ID you have to go to an id you have to go to a cons configuration where you must reach a final state and whole of the input has been read isn't it? it has to be read epsilon but stack can contain something now it need not be empty for some q f belonging to f and gamma belonging to gamma star. This is how you define acceptance by final state and acceptance by empty store. When you specify acceptance by empty store, the last component of the 7 tuple can be phi empty need not have to specify the final state right. Even though we define two modes of acceptance, we will show the equivalence of them that is acceptance by empty store is equivalent to acceptance by final state. Hmm? We will show the equivalence in the next class, but let us come back to this example. Now, if you denote m as k sigma gamma delta q naught z naught f, in this case it is acceptance by empty store. So, this you can write as phi. What is k? In the example which you considered, there are two states q 1 and q 2 and the input symbols are 0 1 c the push down symbols are I will write them as r b g we consider red plate blue plate green plate so on and q naught is the initial state that is q 1 here initial this is the initial state. R is the initial push down symbol now we have to write the mappings right delta mappings <coughs> how do you write delta of q 1 first with the red we will write q 1 0 r when you see a 0 with the red plate on the staff what do you do add a blue plate and remain in q 1. So, this will be q 1 add a blue plate means what will you have b r b r. B R because R instead of R you must write the thing. So, 
you are adding means that R is also there q 1 v r right. Instead if you see a 1 q 1 1 r you will be in q 1, but you are adding a green plate g r. Now, note that because it is deterministic I have written like that actually it is a set. So, I should write with write it as a set. This example is deterministic. So, there is only one possible next move, but generally it will not be like that. <coughs> and delta of q 1 c r is if you see a c go to q 2 is not it. So, it will be q 2, but the stack remains as it is. So, it is q 2 r right. Now, take the blue plate delta of q 1 0 b. When you are having a blue plate and you are in q 1 and you are seeing a 0, what do you do? Add a blue plate. So, what will be the mapping? You will be in q 1 only. When you are adding a blue plate, what you have to write? B is already there. So, B or B B? Huh? Tell me what you should write? B B, right? When you are having a blue plate, but you are reading a 1, you should add a green plate. It is q 1 g b. Note that this is left side is the top of the stack. When you are adding g means you are writing it as g b not as b g. and delta of q 1 c b is you go to q 2 this is when blue plate is on the top when green plate is on the top also you have to write like that q 1 0 g when you see a 0 add a See whenever you see a 0 you are adding a blue plate, whenever you see a 1 you are adding a green plate that is why at the when you go to state q 2 you are removing them in the reverse order that is why you get w c w r. If you have a 0 and 1 uh, string whenever you see a 0 you are adding a blue plate, if you see a 1 you are adding a green plate, but when you remove them in the you are removing in the other order. So, that is why the string which follows c is in the reverse of the string which is occurring before c. When you see a c you go to state q 2 and in state q 2 you start removing the symbols from the stack in the proper order. If the string is different from the reversal of the initial portion the machine will halt right is that clear. So, q 1 0 g that is q 1 b g q 1 1 g is q 1 g g you are adding a green plate when you see a 1 q 1 c g will be you will go to q 2, but you do not do anything with the stack that is why g remains as it is. This is with q 1, with q 2 you have very few mappings, if you are in q 2 and see a 0 and a b combination 
if you have a 0 and a B combination remove the blue plate, if you should not have a 1 and a B combination in that case you are having a wrong thing and so you will halt. So, this is Q 2 removing the plate means Q 2 epsilon, you are removing the plate. Similarly, delta of Q 2 1 g is you are removing the green plate. So, that is Q 2 epsilon, you must have a 1 and a g combination if you get a 0 and a comb uh, g combination it is not correct machine will halt. Then the last is when you have finished with everything reading the whole input what happens the red plate alone remains on the stack you have to remove the red plate. So, that move is specified by delta of q 2 epsilon r is q 2 epsilon. Okay. So, let me see we have seen that we have written the mapping how a string can be accepted we have seen an example suppose I have 0 1 c 0 1, this is not the reversal of this, how will it reject, first you have a red plate when you see a 0 you add a blue plate, when you see a 1 you have a green plate, when you see a c from q 1 to q 2 you will go, but then you are having a 0 and a g combination which you should not get, the machine will hard, it will not read the input further. Suppose I have something like this 1 0 1, the second portion is more right. In that case what will happen? You have a red plate, when you see a 0 add a blue plate, 1 green plate, when you see a C change the state to Q 2, then when you see a 1 remove this, when you see a 0 remove this, you are here in q 2 you are having a <coughs> red and a 1 combination. When you have q 2 and you are having red without looking for the input you will remove the red plate. So, you will remove this then there is no way to read this one, you cannot read this one at all. Okay, the whole input cannot be read, the condition is the whole of the input has to be read. Now, suppose I have something like this. this is portion of the reversal is there, okay, but it is not complete, length is shorter, second portion is shorter. What will happen here? You have a red plate, add a blue plate, add a green plate, add a green plate, when you see a C go to Q 2, when you see a 1 remove this, when you see a 1 remove this, you are at the end of the input, but you are not able to empty the stack stack still contains some, if you have a red you can remove, but you cannot remove blue like that. So, at the end you have read the whole input, but you are not able to empty the stack right. So, in this case the string will not be accepted. Similarly, you can construct push down automata as an exercise. I would advise you to take uh, some problems very simple ones like a power n b power n. What is the idea how will you get a power n b power n accepted? Keep on adding some the basics z naught is there keep on adding a a a and then keep on removing them when you read the b you will get the a power n b that is the idea basic idea is like that. Okay, then a string having equal number of a's and b's how will you accept? See the context free language which had strings over a and b which had had equal number of a's and equal number of b's 
how would you accept it? Try to write down the mappings and see. Okay. So, we shall continue in the next.